Should you still use the Panasonic Luminix G6 in 2022? I will let you guys know my thoughts coming up. Now I won't go over the specs because the specs on the Luminix G6 you guys can find out on your own, but I will go over some pros and some cons of the camera and why I actually still use it. If you're on a fixed budget that this camera would probably work great for you. Of course there's other cameras out there that you could use, but I thought I would share my experience with this camera so far and so far I like it so I think I'm going to be using this camera for now. I was eyeing up the Canon M50 and I think that would be a good camera also to own but I'm not really sure I'm kind of stuck on this camera right now because it does everything that I want it to do as far as creating crisp 1080p video. All right, so now we're gonna get into the pros on why I like this camera. Of course, with this camera, as you guys can see, you can use a external microphone. I am actually using the Deity D4 Duo, and that allows me to record from the front and the back. I can switch between both, or I can do both at the same time. And of course, another plus with this camera is, of course, is the LCD screen as you guys can see it's got a flip out LCD screen So I'm happy to have an LCD screen so I can see my shots I can see if I'm in frame and when I'm doing b-roll it really helps out and of course it's touch screen So I'm able to touch the screen and make my selections as I'm shooting videos And of course as you guys can see right now. I am actually using a kit lens This is the 14 to 42 millimeter kit lens I was able to find this package on eBay for over $300, but as of right now, unfortunately, when I look on eBay, I only see the body with no kit lens going for about $250, which comes with a charger and a battery. So if you're looking to get this camera right now in 2022, you might pay a little more if you want to get the kit lens to go with it. Also, the good part about this camera is that the lenses are fairly cheap. I was able to get a 14 millimeter lens on eBay for about $100 and I was able to get a Photosy 35 millimeter ca uh, lens also on Amazon. I was able to get that for like $30 and that was fun. I shot a really cool short film with my dog on that with this very camera. I shoot 95% of my videos guys with this camera and I absolutely love it. I use HD 1080p, um, I, I flip between 24 frames per second to 30 frames per second depending what I want to shoot and what I feel like doing when I'm in the mood to do. Um, I guess one of the cons is that the autofocus on this camera is not the best, however if you're good at shooting film, um, I'm starting to get, to get better at it and if you focus, I, I use single uh, focus, autofocus on this, so I, I'm able to select in a square where I want to focus it. I double tap it and it'll actually focus in. Before I hit the record button, I make sure everything's in focus. And even if you mess up, you know, you can do that in post in your editor, whatever video editor you choose. If you're really slick at video editing and you do your cuts right, you may not even notice that it's out of focus. And that's what I like about it. I'm not being lazy. Um, you know, if something's not right, I try and fix it. If I already shot it, you know, I may go back and reshoot it, but sometimes I'm in a pinch and I want to get the video uploaded. I won't do that. I'll just make it work with what I have, which makes it fun with this camera, guys. Um, you know, with a micro four thirds camera, I'm very impressed with the Luminix G6 in 2021, and I'm also impressed with it in 2022. I'm going to keep moving with this camera. Even if I get another camera, I'll still keep this as a uh, backup camera, if you will, if I decide to get something new. But right now it works for me. You know, like I said, you know, flip out LCD screen, interchangeable lenses, external microphone. Um, it does everything that I wanted to do. I'm not really into 4K right now. And if I want to shoot 4K, guys, I will actually use my iPhone 13 uh, to do that if I really want to shoot 4k I will use my iPhone 13 mini 
to shoot 4K and that's where I am with that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I want to bring 2022 to you guys with this camera. So I'm shooting with the Luminix G6 right now guys. So let me know in the comments. Of course I am going to do you know color grading and some video editing but other than that I'm not going to do any kind of fancy transitions or anything like that. I want to show you guys what this camera can do. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little b-roll footage in the beginning of the video. I wanted to show you that you know it's not just the gear that you have it's you know the the person filming with the gear you know I, I wanted to shoot this video and show you guys what this camera could do you can actually do everything that i just did in this video on an iphone guys you don't need to have a special camera but if you do decide to get a camera i highly recommend the panasonic luminix g6 through 2022 i plan on using this unless i change my mind so if you guys like the video guys please give me a thumbs up and as always, guys, 2022 style. Later.